Hello guys, James here and welcome back to my 7th episode in the World Cup Road to Glory on the Nintendo Switch. Today I'll be once again playing through the World Cup, seeing how far I can get, not just doing the group stages, but we start off in the first, uh, first game in the group and come against this guy who's got quite a nice team, not amazing chemistry on some of those players like Neymar there, but he's got Gary Lineker who's a great uh, icon. And uh, I'm just going to show you the group games, I'm just going to show you um, the team I come up against and then the result. Um, and he actually quits here, Rage quits after I go 6 2 up, I believe. Uh, you see us getting the pack there. Yeah, 6 2, 500 coins collected. So uh, that was nice. Quite an early Rage quit, 66th minute there, so showing that we're still doing something right. And uh, yeah, we're going to open our single player pack and a premium World Cup pack with our 7,500 coins that we've accumulated. So here we go with the first single player pack. We get Romero from Argentina who uh, went out not too long ago now. But yeah, they had a shocking, shocking World Cup they did. And uh, unfortunately he was injured as well. They might have done a little bit better if they didn't involved it. Yeah. What can you do? And then we, in our seven and a half day pack, we actually get a very nice ball in Kimpembe, who's a very solid, fast centre back in this game. We get a duplicate Rashford that we send into our duplicate storage as well. He can be used in a SBC at a later date, possibly. But um, yeah, it's just straight back in now, second game of the group stage. <coughs> Sorry, and uh, yeah, we'll go in, show you the team we come up against again, and then the result. Over this guy using the Polish kits and badges, and uh, this is his team 87 chemistry, quite a few <clears throat> decent players in there. Fellaini with the upgrade, 84 rated Kante, I think he's had an upgrade, Rashford, Rigi, Lindelof. Um, yeah, but we uh, we see that him off quite nicely. He scored a few goals against us, but we scored twice as many, so that was very nice. And uh, yeah, we'll go and open this pack as well now. But um, yeah, this is Sunday now after England just beat Sweden in the World Cup on the Saturday. And uh, it was amazing to watch that. Let, let me know down in the description if you're English or where you're from and how your team's done in the World Cup. But watching that, I can't believe how well they're doing at the moment. And uh, football's coming home, simple as. <laughs> but yeah, this is now the third episode, uh, sorry, third episode, third game of the group stage. And we can't get this guy in the France kits. This is how it gets here. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at his team. Now he's got a very nice team, really. 84 rated. Unlucky with a closer. He's got the upgrade Isco, Adrian Silva, upgraded Modric. Uh, who's that in right mid? Tello, maybe. Kimmich, Font. But yeah. We do again get the win 2 1. That was the toughest game so far, but we can't wait with the win. 2,000 coins bonus, very nice indeed. And uh, so, our third single player pack of the episode and another premium pack for winning the group stage. So, let's get straight into them. The premium pack we get Marcelo, which is actually great, and he's since I've recorded this gameplay he's actually got an upgrade from the Belgian game so if we can uh, we might have a look and see if we can fit him in the team maybe have a bit of a hybrid going on but yeah you'll we'll see that in the next one if I do that and then the single player back we get Lindelof who's actually not going to be upgraded now but he's quite a nice centre back as well but um, yeah he might go in our team we'll see about that and uh, now this must be the first this is the round of 16 now so you want to see highlights of these all the goals in these games and this is the first team we come up against this guy's got a very a few very nice players in there Neymar, Messi, Hamas, Rodriguez, Rikos is his icon, upgraded Rakitic, Paulinho, Alexandro, uh, Hummels in there here yeah, so he's obviously played quite a bit this game and got very lucky but he starts off here 31st minute crossing it in and getting a Nice header with Paulinho. A bit frustrating, our defender couldn't get that, but 
Paulinho has got very good stats in this game and uh, he's done a bit for Brazil in the World Cup but they're out now. Uh, that game, Brazil-Belgium was an amazing game. I did think that Belgium would come away with that. But uh, last knock into the game now, we, uh, we're trying our hardest to get back into it. We did in the 89th minute and then this is extra time and uh, 105 minutes on the clock. We're working it forward. It's a great save by his keeper, but Rashford Z to tap that in. We take the lead in extra time. So it just shows you I'll never give up because we're now leading after losing for so long and scoring in the 89th minute. But that's how it ended. So we've come away with the extra time win against Timmy and uh, in the round 16. Very nice indeed. We move forward. And we actually, yeah, I was a bit scared when that happened. We got an error message and it quit the game. But luckily, because the game had finished, with, uh, we didn't get the DNF or anything. And we picked up Jagarev from Russia. Oh, I believe he's got some, quite a big upgrade from their quarter-final with Croatia, even though they lost. So he might be uh, featuring next episode, but we'll see about that. And, uh, yeah, so now this guy, quarter-final against the Belgian team. He's got a Mexico away kit, I believe that is, and the Belgium home kit, uh, away kit as well. And he's got some amazing players in there, Pepe, Boateng, De Gea, Jordi Alba, Dani Alves, Deco, Maradona, Modric, Omri, Mbappe and Lacocha. So just a properly stacked team compared to ours, but 20th minute, he whips the ball up to uh, Omri and he's got a nice finish past our keeper to make it 1-0. And uh, that was quite early on in the game and I was thinking, oh no, that team, we saw what happened when we come up against a real stacked team last episode. We got smashed in the round of 16, but we uh, were patient. Again, coming into the second half now, and we get a, a coach doing some nice dribbling. He goes for the shot, and I think it just nicks off Rashford's back or something and deflects into the goal. Luckily, he wasn't offside, and we'll take that all day long, leveling that up, and then almost straight away. We get a nice breakaway with Sane, amazing pace, he's got no one's going to catch him. He plays that across and Jesus on the tight angle puts that in. I, uh, I've been subbing him and Paulinho on quite a lot actually. Because they, uh, they're great, great players. They play so well in game and uh, they uh, make such a difference when it's close. Or you need a bit of something extra with some uh, extra fitness on some players. And uh, Sane, similar thing again, working it forward. Nobody can touch him in the box and uh, plays it through to Rashford and we go 3-1 up after losing for quite a lot of the game. So that was very nice indeed. And uh, he quit out as well as I think I was about to score another goal similar to that last one. So I'll take that and uh, yeah, get a 3-1 win against RFC Charlingo in the quarterfinals. Very nice indeed. And we'll go and open our single player pack again as per usual and who do we get in this one single player pack number four no five of the episode and we get it is a shame when that happens you open that you've got such high expectations and you put an iranian it's just never never good is it but yeah semi-final now against geordie Spanish flag, Spanish manager, 442, and he's not got the greatest chemistry. And he's got a few odd players in there, like that low rated goalkeeper, Tyson at left back. But he's got two icons, so he obviously sort of knows what he's doing a bit when it comes to building them. And uh, he starts the game off 20 minutes in. Lacazette goalie saves it and he gets the rebound. Quite lucky there, but he's made the chance in the first place, and then this. Is unbelievable. I uh, I was very frustrated with this, but you've got to take that after him. Somehow the goalkeeper is just nicely slotted that into the bottom corner on the 36th minute. And uh, this guy was good with considering he didn't have the greatest chemistry or anything like that, but he was just good at the game. Can't can't take that away from him. And uh, Lacazette there was causing me all sorts of problems. Lovely finesse into the far corner past my goalie. But then 42 minutes, this this bit of passage of play you're about to see now is crazy. So 42 minutes, we're working it with Ozil. Lovely finish shot into the top corner from just the edge of the area. So right, look, that goal's gone in 44th minute. That's one goal. And then now, you'll see just in a sec, the next goal. 
literally 44th minute still here. He's playing it around the back. We win it back, pass it through to uh, Lukaku, and he finishes that nicely on the 44th, 45th, sorry, minute now. So that's two goals in two minutes in this game to bring us back within contention, 3-2, and then uh, basically yeah, straight off kickoff. You see it's 3-2 to him. He uh, he runs through. Terrible defender for me. I don't know what I was doing, but he scores another goal. So it's four, yeah, four two to him. Forty five minute. That's two forty five minute goals, and then we get another chance here with Lukaku on forty five minutes, and uh, we put that in to make it four three. So there was four goals from the forty fourth to the forty fifth minute, which is just unbelievable. But he wins a corner in the sixty second minute, and uh, yeah, you know what's going to happen. Lara Mendy header and unfortunately he's taking the lead sort of more and more out of our reach and he was just a good player I wasn't playing the best but yeah take nothing away from him he's just I don't know quite why my defence was so far back there but yeah it is what it is 76th minute lucky that makes it 6-3 and uh, it's one of them in FIFA I'd rather go through it try to get back into the game and sort of not let my opponent score but we score on ourselves in the 81st minute to make it 6-4 and then um, yeah 89th minute into the 90th minute now he wins the ball back plays into Bruma he does some nice dribbling works it through I was just sliding all over the place now getting frustrated but he uh, puts in a lovely finesse finish across my keeper and uh, yeah that's how the game finished 7 4. Unfortunately, that was as far as we got this episode into the semi finals, but I'll let it play out. You can see the um, single player pack. But thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like the uh, series. Um, there's only a week left of the World Cup, so I'm going to try it. And my aim is to win the World Cup and then have that up and end the series. Um, sort of when the um, World Cup ends as well. So, yeah. See you later, thanks for watching guys.